Okay, now that all of that stuff is out of the way, we are back to where we left off on the process of this bedroom makeover series. And today is the day we're going to do the full transformation of this bedroom in my apartment. And I am so excited to get this video started. I never thought we would get to this point. It has been such a long journey to get here. If you've been following along on this bedroom makeover series, so far we have gone thrifting together. We've done some thrift flips built an entire headboard and matching bed skirt from scratch. We also refinished some vintage chairs and installed this removable renter friendly accent wall. And now we are to my favorite part, which is bringing in the furniture, the decor items. This is gonna be so much fun. I have never done a bedroom makeover before. So this is a huge new exciting challenge. And I'm happy that you guys are here with me to do this. So let's talk about the room. This is what it looked like before any of the changes were made. It's just boring beige standard renter apartment. We're also dealing with a strange layout. The room kind of only has one configuration that works for the furniture based on the windows, the doors. So we're gonna address some of that first. So let's talk about the design of the space because I think that is the best place to get started. When I'm planning a room makeover, one of the first things I do is go to Pinterest. And after I've compiled a Pinterest board of inspiration, I then compile the main inspiration photos into Milanote. You can see that I've kind of planned out some different areas throughout the room, pulling in photos that I really liked and really spoke to me. So you can see the bed area and kind of the vibe we're going for. Very vintage, dark and moody. I'm very excited to use this accent wall and then bring in some antique decor elements that will really make this look good. I also refinished those chairs and I think they'll make a really lovely little seating area along this one awkward wall. So this is the design mock-up that I have come up with for the room. You can see with the wall that we created, the bed, some of the different furniture items, and this is truly going to be what guides this bedroom makeover. We're gonna see if we could take this picture and make it into reality. Let's get started in the place that I always recommend you start when doing a room makeover is by putting down the rug. Here is the rug, which you can't really see what it looks like just yet, but I'm so excited to get this down and see what it looks like. I have not seen it out of the packaging and I've had it in this apartment for weeks waiting for this moment. Now, when I'm adding a rug into an apartment over wall to wall carpet, I like to add a rug pad on the floor first. This actually just makes it a little bit easier to lay down the rug, it protects the carpet a little more and prevents that kind of waviness that happens once you put down heavy furniture on top. It's definitely worth that little extra cost to have a better look for your rug. Let's do it. almost seven o'clock and the most that got done today is putting down the rug and I didn't show most of what was going on because just in the moment I didn't feel like filming but it's just been one failure after another today it started with I didn't buy enough material for a DIY that I wanna do in the room. Then it went into a curtain rod that online it didn't look like it was gonna have these threads on it that are gonna be visible when they're hanging up on the ceiling. So as much as I really wanted to get a whole bunch of stuff done today, I think it's just gonna have to be an easy day and we just get up early tomorrow, we tackle some more of these projects. The rug was a big win. I love it in the room. It is such a good addition and I can see things wanting to come together, but it was just one thing after the other. The search to find curtain rods that were gold felt like I, we were on a scavenger hunt. We managed to find something, we went to Ikea, so. So I think I might try to hang those up tonight, but we'll see. It depends on how I feel about just getting things done. Because every little bit helps, but at the same time, it's like I might just need a reset. So I will see you in whatever clip I decide to do next. 
It is a new day. I decided to just get some rest before coming back in here and installing the curtain rods, which we got done. They look pretty good. I have the one up right now. And I just figured a fresh start would be the best way to go in, especially for a project that involved measuring and math to figure out placement. So I'm feeling a lot better. The sun is shining, which I did not expect to see happening today. That just is helping the overall mood of getting this project done. So now let's talk about the curtains. I have them sitting down right here next to me. And these are the curtains that I picked out for the room and I love them. I like that they are kind of similar to what was already there, but they have a really pretty plaid pattern. And I usually don't go with a pattern when I'm picking out a set of curtains. So I thought this would be fun. It would be different and unique. And I really like the idea of doing a lot of pattern mixing in this room to bring in a really fun, eccentric kind of cozy vibe. You're the rose in a garden. They look so good. I really like that. The curtains are up and this room is starting to feel so much better. It's really coming together and I'm loving the pattern and the texture and kind of the warmth that these bring. I am gonna have to go in and hem these a lot shorter and I opted to just get the longer length of curtains because I knew that I could hem them to the exact size that I wanted. But I'm gonna just leave that for a later date. Now I wanna move forward and we're gonna do something that I'm so excited to do and that is finally bring in some of the furniture. So we're gonna get in the first nightstand that's gonna go right here. I can't wait to show you. Let me go get it. Here it is. I love this nightstand so much. It is off of Amazon. That's where I got it from, but it kind of looks like an amber interiors dupe, like this one right here. So I fell in love with these. The only thing is I do want to do a knob swap on here. I had in our thrifting video in the haul, I showed you that I picked out some really pretty antique brass knobs that I think are going to really elevate this. Maybe one day we'll kind of transform them even more but I think swapping the knobs is gonna make a huge difference. Now let's talk about lighting, which we really need right now because it has gone so dark and stormy within the last like hour right around here and I want to do something arguably probably not renter friendly but it's gonna look really cool and it is install some sconce lights. We are gonna have to drill holes in the wall to mount these but we are gonna do a renter friendly method to hide the cable so it's like a best of both worlds scenario and I think they're gonna look so cute right here. I'll be sure to link these and really everything you see in this video in the description box. Most of the stuff I found I got off Amazon, so it's very affordable and accessible for your apartment if you want to do something just like this.
now we've turned around to the other side of the room. We're gonna tackle the dresser area. There's a couple different things we wanna do here. The first one is replacing the dresser with the new one. And I think it's gonna really tie this entire room together. So let's get this one out of here. And now with some editing magic, let's replace this dresser. So the dresser is in and here, but before we put the drawers in, the knobs on and everything all nice and styled. As you saw, I took a TV out of the room. I wanna put it up on the wall because it honestly is just too low sitting on the dresser to see from the bed. So mounting it on the wall, I think, We'll make this a little bit better. And then I have a plan for a really cute DIY TV frame around it. I've seen a lot of people do those DIY TV frames to mimic that Samsung frame TV. And I think this would be a fun room to try that in. So let's figure out how hard it is to mount a TV on the wall. I am admittedly very nervous about this one. Now let's make that DIY TV frame that I just mentioned. So I'm using some trim that I picked up from the hardware store. There are a wide variety of different pieces that you can use and I'm cutting them down to size. The inner measurement on the miter is the same as the inner measurement on the black plastic frame that goes around the TV. I then use some wood glue to attach the four pieces of the frame together and then my corner clamp to make sure that this frame was a perfect square. I gave that glue time to dry and now I am painting the entire frame with a really dark brown paint. The next day I took a foam brush and some rub and buff and began applying it to really bring out all of the details on this wood trim to make it look like one of those antique frames. By doing this, I think it's gonna just really bring the entire room together and especially match with that faux brass gallery rail that I created for the accent wall that's on the opposite side of the room. Now that we're to this step, we're gonna have to let this dry and I will show you how I completed it and attached it to the TV frame a little bit later on in this video. Hopefully you can't hear the lawn mowing that's going on right outside the window. I feel like whenever I go to record a video and try to get it started, there is something loud going on outside. But we're gonna have to push forward. It is day three of the bedroom makeover and we are going to get this done. I am just feeling so motivated and ready to see this bedroom in its full completion. It has been such a long time coming. So what I wanna do now is add a gallery wall to this wall right here. It's like the perfect blank wall for a gallery wall. And I'm feeling really inspired by some inspiration photos that I've seen that have these big square frames with minimal mats and black and white photos. I just think it looks so chic and modern and it's gonna really contrast with the more antique look going on throughout the room. So we're gonna do that. I made some templates. I that's going to be the easiest way to map out how this is going to work and we're going to just get these pictures up on the wall and i'll kind of walk you through the process as we do it are they done yet <laughs> So I made these paper templates out of just unwanted or unused wrapping paper. It's great for mapping out a gallery wall before committing to putting holes in the wall. And I'm just gonna stick this. I measured out where that this should be. Here's the center of our little template. And right there is my little mark of where I would want the bottom frame to go. And I'm not really gonna care how level this is because we'll level the frames individually. But I'm gonna do a one and a quarter gap between all of the frames.
So after a bunch of nails and measuring and all of that, it's just way too complicated to get these perfectly aligned on the wall, given that the little frame hook thing, they're all different. I don't know. It's just getting really frustrating. So I think we're gonna just revert to the true renter friendly method of hanging these frames. And that is by using command strips. That took way longer than it needed to, but they're up on the wall. It looks pretty good. We're gonna have to take them all down again, but luckily the command strips will mark where these go up. That was the ticket. I think that was the easiest way to hang this type of gallery wall instead of having to put a bunch of little tiny holes in the wall and hoping that you get the right one. So I have these frames that were off of Amazon. They were super cheap because I got some 16 by 16 mats that will fit in here, cut down at Hobby Lobby. This was a bit pricey, but adding up the difference between buying a frame that already had the mat in it, this was a little bit of a savings to go this route by getting a mat board cut down to fit the size of the frame that I wanted. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna add in the art, and we're gonna put up this gallery wall. It's been a lot of work, but I think it's finally coming together. Oh, well, you know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no Well, the pictures are up. I even hung a little picture light over it to tie the whole thing together and I'm loving it. So right underneath here is where I'm gonna put those chairs that I restored a couple videos ago. So I'm gonna go grab those and we're gonna put them into place. This looks so cute. I'm so excited to see this come together. We have one more larger piece to put in the room in the opposite corner from here. So let's do that. And then we get to my favorite part, which is where we start to add all of the styling pieces. Now let's talk about styling the bed, which is the part that I'm so excited about. So what I'm gonna do and something that I like to do when making a bed is do a mix and match sheet. I think it creates some fun by putting a solid color with a pattern. So I'm opting for the patterned fitted sheet and a solid white for the top sheet. And now we have the comforter or duvet, which this is a duvet, which I've never done before. I've heard pros and cons of choosing a duvet but I've always wanted one because I like the idea of one that it's easier to wash just the cover, but also because you can switch out the design or color depending on the season or whatever your personal taste is. Okay, <laughs> well, I have a steamer. I've never used a steamer before, but I've seen that a steamer will get out all the wrinkles out of your duvet cover. Obviously, I don't think this really matters for like personal use, but for the presentation, we're going to make this look hotel ready. I thought it'd be fun to add some texture and pattern by adding a quilt. I got this quilt. It was handmade off of Etsy and I thought the black and white pattern or black and off white would look really, really good on this bed. <music> 
for the pillows, I'm gonna just put these, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a standing up or a laying down. I'm thinking I'm leaning toward the leaning up for the pillows. It's a little bit more fun and casual, I think. Now for throw pillows, I'm gonna just keep it very minimal. I just don't wanna have to deal with a ton of throw pillows, but it's definitely to personal preference. So I'm gonna do two solid green ones like this to bring in all the different green elements in the room. And then the star of the show, <laughs> that was a really uh, hard throw there, <laughs> is this pillow, which I have featured in a previous makeover before. It was in my previous apartment's living room. I think it just works so perfectly in here. This used to be a rug that was turned into a throw pillow off of Etsy, and I think it's just one of my favorite pieces. And now that the bed is made and looks so cozy, and I'm resisting the urge to just lay down and take a nap at this point, we get to do the best part, which is put in all of the finishing touches and cute little decor pieces. So let's do that, and then I can show you the final reveal. And just like that, we are ready for the final reveal. As a reminder, here's what the bedroom looked like before, and now here's the after. together and I'm honestly like tearing up seeing it come together because this is the biggest makeover that I've ever completed in my apartment and for it to look like something off of a Pinterest board and that was something that I did I really am gonna cry about it it just feels so amazing to see it so I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeover let me know what you think of it I I'm just so happy to see this finally be completed. It was months and months of curating decor and coming up with ideas to finally get to this point. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on all the many more makeovers that are be going to be coming up on this channel, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you want to see what took us to get to this point, here is a playlist of every video to make up this bedroom makeover series. Thanks so much for your support and watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.